Hello everyone. Class six, subject mass, chapter one, knowing our numbers. We are going to discuss today about chapter one, knowing our numbers. Let us see introduction of the knowing numbers. Knowing our numbers helps us in counting objects in large numbers and representing them through numerals. Numbers helps in communicating through suitable number names and to count concentrate objects. They help us to say which collection of bigger and arrange them in order. Now in this we are going to learn about like greatest numbers and smallest numbers. Large numbers means already we, we have studied in previous class also. Let us see the greatest and smallest numbers. Here I have given a few of examples. 96, 578, 1, 5914, 8462. This is our question. So in this what you have to find means first you should write the greatest number. Next, you should find smallest number. So now here they have asked you to find the greatest number. So greatest number, how you have to find is first you should compare the digits. Here two digits, here three digits, one digit and here four digits and here again four digits we have. So here two or four digits are there. So now you have to compare the left side numbers that is in first digit. Here five is there and here eight is there. So obviously we know eight is a greater number so we write this as a greatest number. So the greatest number is 8462. So in the same way the smallest number is. So he, among all these numbers only one number it is there which is one digit. So this is the smallest number. One is the smallest number. Let us see the another Another example 45, 601, 338, 7612. So among all these, which is the greatest number? So here two digits, three digits, again three digits, four digits. So we know that which will be with the greater digits that is the greatest number. So 7612 is the greatest number. Next, the smallest number. So here we have only one number with two digits that is 45. So the smallest number is 40. Fine. Next, let us see one more example. 1, 114, 10, 674. So, in, in, among all these numbers, which is the greater number? So, we know that the greater number is 674. The greatest number is 674 and the smallest number is here. 0, 1, is, it is 2 digit but 1, one 0, 1 means it consider as 1 only. So, the smallest number will be 1. Now, let us see the formation of greatest and smallest number. So by using the digits, so how we will form the greatest number and smallest number, let us see. Use the given digits without repetition and make the greatest and smallest numbers. Here they will, they will give you the digits and see here 9, 1, 7, 4, 8, 6, 3. So these are the digits they have given. So by using these digits, you should make greatest number and smallest number. So but among these numbers, one number also you should not repeat again. Let us see how we will form the great num greatest number. First we will form greatest number is. So here they have given 9, 1, 7, 4, 8, 6, 3. So in these digits, first you should find which is the greater number, means the bigger number. So we say that 9 is the bigger number. Next leaving 9, remaining these numbers, which is the bigger number, 8. So we write like this, 9, 8. Then after 8, which is the bigger number in these, 7. Next, 6. Next, 4. Next. 3. The last one is 1. So in this way we will write. So just first we will write the digits as it is. Then we have to place the commas after 3 digits, next 2 digits. So this number will read as 98,76,431. So in this way we write greatest number. Now let us see how do we write smallest number. So just opposite. So from small number two, you have to come. Nine, one, seven, four, eight, six, three is there. So in this first, you should write which is the small number. One is a small number. Next three, next four, six, seven, eight, nine. So after writing this, we place the commas first after three digits and after two digits. So this number is read as 13,46,789. So in this way, we write for we, we form greatest numbers and smallest numbers.
next let us see comparison of number so how we will compare the numbers in the sense how do we use greater than lesser than the numbers see here there are some rules are there how you will compare the numbers in order to compare two numbers we adopt the following rules so here are some rules what is that rules we will see so first one is rule one the number with less digits is less than the number with more digits so this means so first you have to compare the numbers when they give what which numbers will be the big so now for example let us i will give you 56287 then one more number i will give you here 69,58,265. so now here this is the number with less Less digits is less than the number with more digits. Okay, so first if they give like this, you have to compare the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here you have 5 digits number. And you see the next, the next number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here is 5 digit and here is 7 digit. So now here the, the number with less digits. That means here we have less digits. 5 only. Here we have more digits. So obviously this number is lesser than this number. So that means here we place. What we will place? We place the digit. We place here lesser than. Rule number 2 says. Suppose. We have to compare two numbers having the same number of digits. Then we proceed as under. See, suppose here, so example, I have given five digits, it is there, and this side seven digits is there. So in case, this side also, left side also five digits, and the right side also five digits is there. So in both the sides, when you compare, if you have the same numbers, what you have to do? So again, under rule two, we have an, another rule. What it is? See, step one, what you have to do? First, compare the digits at the left mo most place in the both the numbers. First, what you have to do means in case if it is two also same numbers, means you have to compare the first numbers. This side also first number and this side also first number. In case if it is also same, what you have to do? See the next step, step two. If they are equal in value, then compare the second digits from the left. Suppose first number also same in both the sides, and again second number also same in the next left side also. What you have to do next? If the second digits from the left are equal, then compare the third digit from the left. So first number also same, second number also same, third number also same. So what you have to do? So you should go for the next number. Continue until you come across unequal digits at the corresponding places clearly. The number with greater such digit as the greater of the two. So how this, how you will do that for this? I will give you the example. Let us see. See here. I will give you like Five fifty-six thousand eight hundred and eighty-nine thousand seven hundred and eighty-five. Next, this side also I will give you fifty-six thousand. Sorry, fifty-six lakh eighty-nine thousand nine hundred and fifty-six. Now you see here. Here first digit five. Here also first digit five. Both are same. Again second digit. We, so when the first digits are same, you should go to the next digit. Here 6 and again here 6. So this 6 also second digit also same. Again you should see the third digit. Here 8 is there and again here 8 is there. So this also same. Again you should go to the next number. Here 9 is there and again here also 9 is there. So what you have to do. So now here all the 4 digits which we compared is same only. Now what you should do. Next digit you have to compare. So here 7 is there and here 9 is there. So now we got here 2 different numbers. So until you get like this, the different numbers, you should be comparing the digits. So now here you got 7 and here 9. So we know that which is the small and which is the big. So obviously 7 is the small and 9 is the big number. So now we can compare 56,89,785 is lesser than 56,89,956. So in this way, we will compare the numbers. Now I hope you understood how to compare the numbers next we will see how you will write ascending and descending orders so i hope you understood comparing numbers how you will write 
let us see so here are some examples are there how you have to compare the numbers solved examples i have given here example one which is greater so here the questions they have given in this you have to compare whether it is greater than or lesser than so you can read this number as 2 crore 45 lakh 76,813 or 98 lakh 97,686. See here, so you, you can see, so according to the rule number one, a number with more digits is greater. If less, less digits means it will be the lesser than. So now here, if you see here, eight digits are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight digits are there. Whereas here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are there. So here, 8 digits are there, here, 7 digits are there. So this number will be greater than this number. See, a number with more digits is greater. So, 2 crore 45 lakh 76,813 is greater than 98 lakh 97,686. Let us see the next example. Example 2, which is smaller. 10,3467 or 98,97,686. Here they have asked you which is smaller. A number with less digits is smaller as we have seen earlier. So here the digits are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here 7 digits are there. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So same digits are there. So now here the digits are same. So what you have to do? So you should compare the first number. So here 1 is there and here 9 is there. So obviously this number is smaller than this. So 10 lakh 3467 is lesser than 98 lakh 97,965. Now, so I hope you understood how to compare the numbers by using lesser than or greater than. Now, let us see ascending and descending order. So, ascending order. What do you mean by ascending order? Ascending order we have learned in earlier classes also. So ascending order means we write small to big. So here I will give you few examples. Let us see. Arrange the following in ascending order. So here is a question. 382, 8,426, 98, 8, 8,745. So this is our question. Now these numbers you have to arrange in ascending order. So how do you arrange this? So first you should arrange the numbers from small to big. So here this is three digit number and this is five digit number, two digit number, four digit number. So which will be with the less digits that will be the small number as we learned in last table comparison numbers. So now here this number is the two digit number. First we will write this number 98. Next is three digit number. This we will write as 382. So next year, five digit, four digit. So now next we will write 8,745, which is in four digits. The last one, which is in five digits, 89,426, we write. So in this way, we arrange from small to bigger. 98, 382, 8,745, 89,426. So in this way, we are in ascending order. Let us see one more example. 4,589, 98,712, 5,897, 98,741, 4,875. So these are the numbers how you are going to arrange. Now here all the numbers are in 4 and 5 digits only. This is 4 digit number, this is 5 digit number, this is 4 digit number, again 5 digit and here 4 digits. Now which is small? So here you see 4 digit numbers, we have 3 numbers. One, two, three. So here first you should compare in this four digit first, first number. Here four is there, here five is there and again here four is there. So now in four we have two numbers. This 4875 and 4589. So next what you have to do, in these two cases you have both the first ones are same. Next let us see the next digit. Here five is there and here eight is there. So eight is small or five is small? Five is the small. So we write as 4000. 589 is the first number. Next we write 4875. So next here you have three numbers. 98,712, 98,741. So first after writing these four digits, finished four digit numbers. Next we will go to five digit number. Here 98,000 and here also 98,000. 
Next also here 700, again here 700, the third digit also same. Next you see here, fourth digit, one is there and here four is there. So one is small, so we write 98,712 and the last number we write as 98,741. So in this way, we arrange ascending order from small to big. Now let us see next one, descending order. So you know descending order is the opposite of ascending order. So in ascending order, we write small to big. In descending order, we write bigger number to smaller number. Let us see the example. Arrange the following in descending order. So here I have given the example as 65, 47,820, 542, 5069. So this is how you will arrange in descending order. So we arrange the first the bigger number here, two digit number, five digit number, three digit number, four digit number. So now you know that five digits is the bigger number. So we write first as 47,820. So we write, next which is in four digit, we write 5,069. So next which is in three digits, 542. And last which is in two digit number, we write as 65. So the, in this way, we will arrange from bigger number to smaller number in the setting order. Let us see the next example. Second one, 9,999, 50,985, 25, 989, 7,059. So in this, how you will arrange? Here, four digit, five digit, two digit, three digit, four digit. So which is in five digit, that is the bigger number. So we will write as first, 50,985. So here, four digit, two numbers are there. 9,000, 7,000. So 9,000 is the big number. So we will write 9,999. And next, the next number, 7,059. So next is in only these two are left. Now. So this is the three digit number. So we will write as 989. Next we write which is in two digits, 25. So in this way, we will arrange descending order from bigger number to smaller number. I hope you understood ascending and descending order. Next, let us see Indian place value system. So already we have learned in earlier classes also this Indian place value system. So how you will write Indian place value system? So here in Indian place value chart, so these are the periods. So we you know that there will be four periods. These are called periods. The ones period, thousands period, lakhs period, crores period. See here, and once under ones period, we have three columns, which is ones, tens, hundreds. So ones, tens, hundreds. Next, in the same way, under thousands period also, we have two places, thousands and ten thousands. Next, in the same way, lakhs period also, we have lakhs and ten lakhs. Crores period also, we have crores and ten crores. So, this is the short form we write. So, once we write as O, tens we write as T, hundreds we write as H. And in under thousands period, for thousands we write TH, and ten thousands we write TTH, lakhs we write L. And for 10 lakhs, we write as TN, crores, we write as C, and for 10 crores, we write as TC. So this way, we will write first. Okay, so these are the periods and these are the places. For example, here they have given one example, one in 10 crores period, place 0, crores place 5, 10 lakhs place 2, lakhs place 1, thousands place 0, ten, sorry, 10 thousands place 0, thousands place 5. Hundreds place 7, tens place 4, and in ones place 7. So this number, how we will read? So first we will write this number like this. And you know that after ones period, we place comma. And after thousands period, we place comma. After lakhs period, we place comma. So that means first after three digits, and after every two digits, we place the commas. So this number is read as 5 crore, 21 lakh, 5 1747. So we read as 5 crore 21 lakh 5747. So this is the Indian place value chart. Now let us see international place value chart. International place value chart, there will be only three periods, which is ones, thousands, millions okay so here only three periods we have and under three pre periods also we have 
three three columns so which is ones tens in under ones period we have ones tens hundreds and again in the same way in thousands place thousands period we have thousands ten thousands hundred thousands again in the same way under millions period we have million ten million and hundred millions so this is the way we write like how we write millions thousands or so here, one more example, it is given in 100 million place 8, 10 million place 3, million place 0. And in the same way, in thousands place we have 4, 10,000 place we have 2, thousands place you have 7, hundreds place 5, tens place 9, and ones place 6. So this number, how do you read? So here in international place value chart, after every three digits, we place commas. That means after one period comma, after thousands period comma, we will place. So that means after three digits. So how do you read this number? 830 million, four, 427,596. I repeat again, 830 million, 427,000, 596 in this way we will write number name in international place value chart i hope you understood indian and international place value chart let us see next expanded form so how do we write numbers in expanded notation see so here when we write the number 521 what that number really means is that we have the total of 500 plus 20 plus 1. So that means 521, the number means. So just we extend it, we extend the periods 500, 20 plus 1. So we have expanded the number to show the value of each of its digits. When we expand a number to show the value of each digit, we are writing that number in expanded form. Let us see the example. Here I have given 4,57,928. So how we have written for 521 in the same way we should write here. But here, lakhs, thousands, all are there. So now how we will write? As you know, we just we have learnt in pre uh, Indian and international chart. So this is the number which is in Indian place value system. So now here 4 lakhs are there. So that means 4 into 1 lakh plus here 5 ten thousands are there so that 5 into 10,000 plus here 7 thousands are there 7 into 1,000 plus 9 hundreds 9 into 100 2 tens that means 2 into 10 and 8 ones 8 into 1 so this is the way we write in expanded form or else you can write directly also so how you will write directly let us see how you will write directly 4 into 1 lakh means so how you will write 4 into 1 lakh which comes 4 lakh. So how you will write 4 into 1 lakh? It means 4, 4 lakh. So here we write as 4 lakh. Next, 4 lakh. 4 into 1 lakh is 4 lakh. Then plus 5 into 10,000. So which is 50,000. Directly also you can write. Then here you have 7 into 1,000. So 7 into 1,000 means 7,000. Then here 9 into 100 means 900. Plus 2 into 10 which is 20. Plus 8 into 1 which is 8. So in this way also you can write. So like this also you can write or like this also you can write the both the ways are correct only. Now let us see the next example. So one more example here. So which is 19,5346. So here in 10 lakhs, how many are there? 1 are there. So 1 into 10 lakh we write. Then here 9 lakhs are there. So we write as 9 into 1 lakh plus. Here in 10,000 plus you have, in 10,000 place you have 0. So which is 0 into 10,000. So if any number if you multiply with 
zero, you get zero that you know. So simply you can write as zero or in this way also you can write. Next in 5000's place you have 5000's, so which is 5 into 1000. In 100's place 3 is there, 3 into 100. In 10's place you have 4 10's which is 4 into 10. And again here in 1's place you have 6, so which is 6 into 1. So in this way we write expanded form. Let us see next. Rounding numbers. So how you will round the numbers? So first we will learn nearest to 10. Rounding a number to the nearest to 10. So how you will round the number to the nearest to 10? See here what you should do. See the ones digit of the given number. First you should see in ones number what the number, what the number, what the in ones number, ones digit what it is there. Next so step two, if one's digit is less than five, replace one's digit by zero and keep the other digits as they, they are. So that means here, see here, if one's digit or less than five, replace one's digit. For example, I will give you here 50. 2. 52 I will give you. So this number what you should do means you should round off to the nearest 10. So now here if you want to round off to nearest 10, you have to check the place of one's digit. So now here in one's digit we have 2. So this 2 is less than 5 you know that. 2 is less than 5 we know that. So now this number if it is less than 5 means what we have here. So we should replace the digit as same and which will be in the ones digit it will become 0. So then it will become 0. So this 52 when you round off to nearest 10 it will become 0. So this So again here you have example 3. Third step what you should do. If ones digit it is 5 increases 10's digit by 1 and replace 1's digit by 0. So which means here 53. So that is in the step 2. The 1's digit is 3 which is less than 5. So the required round required number will be rounded to 50. Okay. Next see. Next, next one is the numbers round off to the 100. Round off to the nearest 100. So how you have to do when you round off to nearest 100. So as we have seen in the, in the nearest tens, if the in if if you want if you round off to the number to the nearest 10, you should check the number which is in once digit. So if it is less than 5, the number will be as it is. If in case the number will be once digit which is Greater than 5, that number will be round off to the next number. So same way here also, if you round off to the nearest 100, see the tens digit of the given number. See here, if you round off to nearest 100, you should check tens digit. Okay, so in tens digit, what you have to do next? If tens digit is less than 5, replace each one of tens and one's digit by zero and keep the other digits as they are. As we have seen in nearest tens, same way here also. If the number which is in tens place, if it is less than five, in one's place, the number we have to keep as zero and the number will be as same only. Next in, in case, if the number is more than five, what you have to do? If the digit is five or more, so it may be five or more than five also. Increase hundreds digit by one and replace each, each digit on its right by zero. So that means that once place what the number will be that will become zero and then digit place also will become zero and which is in hundreds place that will change to the next number. So let us see the example. In 648 the tens digit is 4. So here in the tens digit is 4 which is less than 5. 4 is less than 5. So the required rounded number is 600. So this is less than 5. So automatically this ones place and tens place both will become 0. So the number will become 0. Okay. So now let us see in case if it is more than 
Fine. What will happen? So I will give you example here. 68. 68. What it will become? See here you can see in sorry. So here we have to round off to the number hundreds. So now you have to if you round off to the hundreds you should check the number which is in tens place. So here tens place we have 8 which is greater than 5. So this number will change to so that means this ones place and the tens place will become both zero and which is in hundreds place this will come to next number. So that means it, it will round up to 700. So suppose next example I will give you. Suppose here you have 655. So round off to the number to the 100. 655 you should round off to the 100. See here. So if you round off to the 100 you should check the place in tens digit. So here in the tens place you have 5. So 5 if you get also this ones place and tens place both will become 0 and this number will come to the next number. So that means this also gives us 700. So in this way we will change to we will round to nearest numbers. Now let us see nearest thousands. So how we will change the numbers to the nearest thousands. Round off the numbers to the nearest thousands. So how you will change? Let us see the what is the rule for this. See the hundreds digit of the given number. So as we know if you round off to the tens you should see the place of once digit. If you round off to the hundreds you should check tens digit. If you round off to thousands you should check hundreds digit. Now see what is the rule. If hundreds digit is less than 5, replace each one of hundreds, tens and ones digit by 0 and keep the other digits as they are. Same only if it is less than 5, so ones digit, tens digit and hundreds digit. So all the three will become 0 and the number which is in thousands that will be as it is. Next see, let us see what is the third rule. If hundreds digit is 5 or more than 5. So in hundreds digit, in case if it is 5 or which is more than 5 also, increase the thousand digit by 1. So suppose if you have the 6 means for that you should add 1, increase digit by plus 1. Then replace each digit on its right by 0. Remaining all 1's place, 10's place, 100's place all will become 0. Okay, let us see the example. In 5486, the hundreds digit is Four. See here you can see in hundreds digit we have four which is less than five. This is less than five. So the required number will be five thousand. That means ones place, tens place, hundreds place both will become zero and the five thousand will remain as it is same. Now let us see the example if it is greater than five. Suppose now here I will give you seven thousand six hundred and forty eight. I will give so you should round off this number to nearest Hundred. So now you can see here in the hundreds place you have six. So this which is greater than five. So now this ones place, tens place, hundreds place. This three will become zero and seven. So increased by one. So that means seven plus one. So it will become eight thousand. So this number will be round off to eight thousand. So in this way we will learn how to round off the numbers to nearest thousand. I hope you understood how to round up the numbers to nearest tens, hundreds and next let us see next topic is Roman numbers. Roman numbers you learned this topic also already in last year classes. So these are the Roman numbers, these are the Hindu Arabic numerals. So in the Roman numbers if you write these symbols what is the value in what, what is the value for these symbols? So this is the Roman numeral and this is Hindu Arabic numeral. So this means Hindu Arabic numeral means which we write normal numbers. So I, I represents 1, V represents 5, X represents 10, L represents 50, C represents 100, D represents 500. M represents 1000. So these are the constant values. You should buy heart this. Okay. So now let us see what is the rules. One of the early systems of writing numerals is the system of Roman numerals. 
there are seven basic symbols to write any numeral these symbols are given below so now we have learned this table so these these are the symbols that so now for this also here we have some rules so how you have to write the roman numbers so there are four rules so we will see now what is the rules so this is the table we have learned now and let us see the rule number one numerals i x c and m so i x c m so these can be repeated to represent a number repetition of these num numerals means addition these numbers so in case if it is suppose i will take now one so here so if we write this is three times so which means what so you have to add so here numerals means addition that means one plus one plus one which gives you three so to write a three in roman numeral we use this number okay so same way so same way if you write x x it is there no so this x also i will write two times so this value means how much so you know that x value is 10 10 plus 10 which gives you 20 same way you will write c i will give you c c c so you have to write the number for this so this means what c means you know 100 here three hundreds are there three c's they have given so that means 100 100 100 so how much it will become 300 so same way here m also you can write suppose i will give you two m's what is the value of two m's so you know that thousand m value is thousand plus thousand so which gives you two thousand so in this way we will write so whereas so why can't you write for remaining numbers why can't you write for remaining numbers? So what is there? The remaining numbers here. 5 is there. And here. L, if these two are left. So now what we will see what will happen if you write that. Suppose now I will write V, V. So V means you know that the value is 5. So 5 plus 5. So why can't you write this 5 plus 5, 10. So why we should not write means. So this we have here the value of X is 10. So this is wrong. We should not write this like this. So this is wrong. So we have for the value of x is 10. In such a way we will write. Same thing will happen whereas in L also. L, L if you write it two times it will become 50 plus 50 100. So whereas we have for C value is 100. Let us see rule number 2. So what is the rule number 2? A smaller numeral written to the right of a greater value is always added to the greatest numeral. A smaller numeral written to the right. Right side if you write a small number what will happen? So that means it is always added to the greatest numeral. Let us see the example for this. So how you will write? So here what they have given? A smaller numeral written to the right of a greater value. Suppose now I will write i x. So this means what? So here you can see clearly. So 1 is a smaller number and x is a bigger number. So i value is 1 and x value is 10. So in this case what you have to, sorry. See here, first you have to write the smaller numeral written to the right of a greater number so x i i will write so here this means x means 10 i, I means 1 you know that so that means it will add 10 plus 1 which will become 11 so if you want to write 11 so you will write x i so in roman number you will write like this now let us see one more example suppose if you want to write 57 i will give you 50 50 value is l so this means what so you know that l means 50 so these are 
First is L is bigger number and 5 also bigger number and these two also small number. So that means if you write right side of the greater number, so that means L is a greater number. So right side, we have written this B, I, I. So right side of the bigger number, if you write the smaller numbers, what will become is that will be addition. So B value, you know, which is 5. And here I, I means 1 plus 1. So which gives you 50 plus 5, 55, 56, 57. So this value is 57. So in this way, we will write the numbers. So this is the rule number two. So now let us see the third rule, what it is. So a smaller numeral written to the left of a numeral of greater value is always subtracted from the greater numeral. Now in the rule number two, we have seen if you write right side, small numbers, what will become means it will be addition. Same way, if you write left side, what will happen? So left side, now I will give you the example I, X. See here, you can see clearly this x is a bigger number and 1 is a smaller number so which is small number so this means we have written left side of the bigger number so this means minus so that means so we have to minus from the bigger number so you know that always in the subtraction from bigger number to smaller number we will add so that means 10 minus 1 so 10 minus 1 how much 9 so this way we will write let us see the one more example suppose you have 24 I will give. So that means V I V X. So how you will write this number? So you know that. So this is the 10 and here V 1 it is there. So that means this means you know that the value is 4. I V means 4. So that means 10 minus 4. So which gives you Let us see one more example, x, x, i, v. So I will give you this. So how you will write this? So 10 plus 10, this you know how much? 20. Okay, so this then, this is 5 minus 1. So which is 5 minus 1. So that means how much? 5 minus 1 is 4. So here 20 plus I minus 4 which is equal to 24. So in this way we will write or else one more example also you can see 40. How we will write. So now you can see here this is L is a bigger number which means 50. So X value is 10, 50 minus 10. So how much you will get? So, 50 minus 10 is 40. So, if you want to write 40, we will write as X, L. So, in this way, we will write the Roman numbers. So, now let us see another rule. What you have? Rule number 4. When a small when a smaller numeral is placed between two numerals of greater value, it is always subtracted from the numeral. So that means here, here when a small numeral, so suppose here two numbers are there. So in between two numbers, if you place the smaller number, what will happen? See here, the example they have given x, x, i, x. So that means you know the value of x, x means 10 plus 10. And here, so here these two are bigger number and this is also bigger number. So in between the bigger numbers, one small number is placed here. So this means it will be subtracted from the bigger number. So this means 10 minus 1. So 10 plus 10, 20. 10 minus 1 is 9. So which is 29. So in this way, we will write the Roman number. Yes. Let us see the next examples for Roman numbers. So how we will write. See here, x, v, 1, it is there. So that means 10 plus 5 plus 1, which is 16. Next example, x, 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 v, 1, i, i, it is there. x, x, x value is 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 30, 5, 6, 7, so 37. When next example, L, X, X. L means 50, X means 10, and again X means 10. 50 plus 10 plus 10, which gives us 70. 
Next example, x is equal. You will see here, this is c is 100. This is greater number. And left side, we place the smaller number. So that means 100 minus 10, which gives us 90. Next example, c, d, l, v. So here also you see, d is, means 500. So c means 100. 500 minus 100, 400. And again here, greater number. And right side, we have small number. 50 plus 5, 55, 455. Next example, M, M, C, 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 X, V, I, I. So this means here, M means 1000, M means 1000, 2000, 100, C means 100. Again here, C, 3 C's are there, which is 3, 3 C's means 300, 2300, X means 10, V means 5. So 2300. 17, 2317. So in this way, we will write the Roman numbers. I hope you all understood how to write the Roman numbers. And till here, our chapter will finish. So you all know how to write the numbers now. I hope you understood this chapter. Thank you.